This is the offline scoring screen. In order to move quickly through the heats and events, you can click these buttons here. And that will scroll you through each of the events and heats for that event. In offline scoring, you can view the names of the relay swimmers by right-clicking on the relay name. And the swimmers will be displayed in this box. To get rid of the list, click anywhere in the blue box. This can also be done in timing and in seating. If you had an empty heat that you didn't delete while you were in seating, you can delete it here. Simply select the heat and then click the delete button. You do need to be careful that you don't delete a heat that has times in it that you want to keep. You can also add a heat to this event and either run it in timing or add the information by hand and score it that way. In order to score or rescore an event, you need to make a change to something in heat so that the score button becomes active. This can be as simple as clicking on the status of a lane and selecting the same status again. This turns the score button active. If you want to score all of the heats and the events from the entire meet, select the score all checkbox before you click the score button. This will score or rescore all of the events. This is handy if you are entering data from an away meet by hand or if you imported meet results. Imported meet results do not come in as scored, so you will need to score the whole meet once you've imported it for the reports to print correctly. For a prelims finals meet, it is recommended that if you need to rescore the prelim heats to reseed them into finals that you do it one event at a time rather than scoring them all at once. You can reprint the heat results by clicking on the print button. You can adjust the finish times according to the NFHS rules. Click on the adjust button and it will take you to the adjust screen. This is the same screen that you see in timing on the heat confirmation screen which we covered in the timing portion of the video. If you want to adjust a lane, click on the checkbox next to the lane. Once you are satisfied, click Accept Adjustments or Reject Adjustments to exit. You can also fix splits here. Right click on the finish time and that brings up the split screen. You can either enter the subtracted splits without using punctuation or you can enter the cumulative splits. If you have a final time and one or two splits, you can click the Make Splits button here, which will take the final time and divide it by four to get the splits. This is a quick way to fix the splits if you want to export the meat. You can also change the final time in case it doesn't match what you entered for the splits. You have the ability to check team scores on the screen as well just like you did in timing mode. You can edit the scores if necessary and print them from here. If you have an FTP ID and set the meet up to FTP as discussed earlier, you can also FTP results from the meet. Click on the FTP results button, which will only be active if everything is set up correctly, to send the results for just that event or check FTP all events for the meet to send all of the events. If you make a change to the event, it will overwrite whatever was uploaded previously. Meetware 3 has a lot of useful reports. I'm going to cover just a few of them here. First, if you have a large meet and you want to send out a psych sheet, swimmers listed by times in each event rather than by heat and lane, you can do that with the meet program. Select the meet and the report type. For this one, we're gonna do two column because it takes up less paper. Select show team name and leave the print heat and lane designation empty. Then click print. This will list the entries for you by seed time. Another useful report for big meets is seed information report. This allows you to print the seed information for each team. 
That way you can send it to the coaches before the meet and allow them to check their entries without seeing anyone else's entries. You can either print all teams, and each will print as a separate report, or select a single team. You can also select how you want the report to be listed, either by event, by event matrix, by swimmer, by swimmers with relays, or you can print a blank split sheet for your managers to write the splits on during the race. For the by swimmer plus relays, the swimmer's entries will print as a single report, and the relays will print as a separate report. This is the swimmer list, and this is the relay list. Almost all of the reports allow you the option of sending the report to the printer, saving it as a PDF file or as an HTML file, for example, the meet results. Select the options for the report. and then choose how you want the report printed. A PDF report can be opened and read with several kinds of PDF readers, the most popular being Adobe's Acrobat Reader. HTML reports can be opened with any web browser or posted as a page on the web. If you choose the PDF format, once you click Print, you will be asked where you want to save the report. Select a location, give your report a name, and click OK. It will then open a copy of the PDF so that you can see that it printed correctly. The only reports that do not have this option are reports that are meant to be labels, like ribbon labels or cards, like deck cards and deck slips. In Me Results, there are several different formats. The dual meet result will print a single page of results for a dual meet that includes the lane, name, place, and points for each team, as well as a running score. You can also print a newspaper report. This will create a text file that you can then email to your local newspaper. For the newspaper report, you will have the option of how many relay and individual places you want to print, and how wide the column should be. Check with your local newspaper for that information. When you click Print, you will be asked where you want to save your report. Because of the nature of this file, it won't save correctly if there are any spaces in the file name. So when you save it, make sure there are no spaces in the name. Once it is saved, you can go find it. You can open it with a text editor like Notepad or WordPad. This is what it'll look like. This can be sent to your local newspaper to be formatted however it works best for them. Another handy report is the lane timer slips. This will print out sheets for your lane timers to record their watch times on. These are particularly helpful for large meets. You can choose to print them either stacked, which will print them so that you can lay the sheets on top of each other and cut them into thirds and the events will be in order, or sequential, so that they are printed in sequential order on the pages. The slips themselves look like this. Each lane has its own set of splits and the lane number is listed along the top, along with a slip number in case they get out of order. Event, heat, team, swimmer's name, and room to record up to three watch times are also included on each slip. Each lane selected will print out its own report. These cannot be printed as PDFs or as HTMLs and must be sent to a printer. The ribbons report allows you to print labels that will go onto the backs of ribbons. It is designed for the Avery 5160 labels or 2.625 by 1 inch labels that are 30 to a sheet. Select the meet, 
and the team, which events, and which places you want to print. Then print the labels, and they will look something like this. For relays, there will be four labels printed, one for each member of the relay. These labels can be stuck to the backs of ribbons, making them easier to sort and hand out. Team scores by event is a great way to figure out if there was a scoring error during the meet, especially a discrepancy between what the referee has and what the computer has. Select the meet and click print. The report will list all of the teams in the meet across the top and the events on the left side. In this grid are the points scored by each team for each event and a current total at the bottom, here. This allows you to see at a glance if there was a problem with the referee's math or the computer's point system. Also, you can see if an event has not been scored when you thought that it was.